Ed McLaughlin is a cartoonist, illustrator, and designer, perhaps best known for his cartoons in Punch and Private Eye. You will have seen some of his cartoons on the screen in the entrance lobby, and you will see more as you leave. Ed is a native of Humberston, on the northwest side of the city, where he attended the village school before going on to Wigiston Grammar School next door to this university for what he describes as five very undistinguished years. He had an ambition to go into the building trade, but a month of bad weather after he left school with three O-levels discouraged him. At this point, age 16, he had a lucky break in the form of a grant to fill the last place on the graphic design course at Leicester College of Art and Technology, now De Montfort University. Ed's first printed cartoons were in Lucifer, the college rag magazine. On leaving college, armed with the then equivalent of a good degree, he sought his fortune in London, but his luck and his money both ran out. Returning to Leicester, he took a job with a local printing company for what he describes as three mad years. One day, for a bet, he spent, sent a scrapbook of cartoons to, to Punch, and they bought one for seven guineas. A payment of that magnitude struck Ed McLaughlin as a lot of money for two hours' work, especially as he was paid five pounds and ten shillings for his 42-hour working week. This was a career-defining moment. The next week, Punch took two cartoons, and the following week, they bought seven. He was launched, and thereafter, he had steady cartoon work. In 1964, Ed married the most beautiful girl in Leicester. Shirley is here today, as are their four children. Two years later, he gave up regular employment and went freelance. As a newcomer, Ed had to hustle for work, mostly in London, and with the help of an artist agent, he banged on the doors of many agencies. As his reputation for creativity and reliability grew, so did the number of commissions. In 1987, Ed, 1967, Ed began a long period contributing to Private Eye, which brought more commercial success and a string of awards. He did not, however, fit comfortably into the national press. He was repeatedly hired, but editorial changes meant that the sack soon followed. He soon found that his ideal niche was magazines. He continued to work with Punch and Private Eye, but he also contributed to The Spectator, The Oldie, Saga Magazine, The Investor's Chronicle, Salisbury Review, The Cartoonist, the New Statesman, Housing Today, Reader's Digest, as well as many magazines abroad. He also produced calendars for companies such as Saga, Bass, Shell, and the chemicals multinational BASF. In the world of advertising, he has mounted campaigns for Walker's Crisps, Dewar's Whiskey, and Volvo Trucks, and posters for clients ranging from Dynarod to the Lord Mayor of London show. Ed McLaughlin is also a book illustrator with work for a, a number of publishers, Longman, Macmillan, Pearson, Penguin, Cordy, Oxford University Press, Cambridge University Press, Hodder, all the while working with authors such as Giles Brandreth, David and Ben Crystal, Jonathan Porat, and Bill Beaumont. His work in this sphere, in this sphere has included some 80 bangers and mash books, which became a television series, and more than 100 volumes of the Four Dummies series. He has also designed for animation many TV commercials. And as if this would not fill a busy life several times over, Ed McLaughlin also writes and illustrates children's books, a strand in his career that began in 1969 with Simon in the Land of the Chalk Drawings, which became the inaugural volume of a four-part series and then became a series of 26 films for ITV. He is still active, and most recently he has designed menus and menu cards for Lime Wood, Angela Hartnett's restaurant in the New Forest. 
His, his original cartoons are exhi exhibited regularly at the Chris Beatles Gallery in London and can be purchased there. Ed McLaughlin has been widely honored by his profession, whose professional bodies have voted him Illustrative Cartoonist of the Year, Advertising Cartoonist of the Year, and Gag Cartoonist of the Year. More recently, he has received a Lifetime Achievement Award. Mr. Chancellor, on the recommendation of the Senate and the Council, I present to you Edward Roland McLaughlin that you may confer upon him the degree of Doctor of Letters. Congratulations, William. What a terrific hearing. And you brought us so much fun. Well done, anyway. I think so. Very nervous, I'm afraid. Um, I'd just like to thank everyone, uh, the Chancellor and all the staff. Um, my family have come. They're all in the top there, but um, all I can say, this is a great honor, and well, I still can't believe I'm here. It's, I think everything been, that's been said, has been said, and uh, I'd like to wish you all here, in this, all the young, the students and so on, all the best for the future. And we, uh, we live in interesting times at the moment, and it's going to be it's going to be tough. I think. I hope not. But anyway, I wish you all the best, and uh, thank you. Thank you very much.